Each week in 2019, we're celebrating the women of Western New York who are responsible for so many positive things that are happening in our communities. And tonight, Two On Your Side's Kelly Dudzik shows us how one woman is not giving up when it comes to making sure that people are treated fairly in Buffalo's Fruit Belt neighborhood. This week, City Shaper has made it her mission to help the Fruit Belt neighborhood thrive. Hi, my name is Veronica Hempill Nichols, founder of Fruit Belt McCarley Garden Housing Task Force, and I'm a fifth generation Buffalo Buffalonian, lived here all my life. Veronica Hempill Nichols has been trying to save 204 High Street from demolition since 2007. It's a city owned property built in the Civil War era, and it's been empty for about 30 years. This section here was a doctor's office and his residence was over there. She's hoping the right buyer comes along to bring it new life before it's too late. And it isn't the only building Veronica is keeping track of. It mysteriously caught fire. Vacant for at least 20 years and devastated by fire in 2017, 238 Carlton Street is in the process of becoming the African Heritage Food Co-op so fresh fruit and veggies can reach people in this food desert. Well, our main focus um, is to stop the demolitions, just, just stop it in its tracks. Veronica has partnered with groups like Preservation Buffalo Niagara and the Campaign for Greater Buffalo to achieve that goal. And it's not just about preserving buildings, it's about preserving a culture, it's about preserving a people. And it's not to say that we don't need development, as you can see we do. <laughs> you know, we just want to be included in that plan. Veronica formed her own group so it can be independent. It is not part of the Fruit Belt Advisory Council. Knowing she's making a difference motivates Veronica to do more. Someone has to take a stand. And there is risk involved. There is, you know, backlash. There's retaliation. Been there, done that. I mean, there's been days when I've been so beat down. Um, I just didn't want to move, you know. But at the end of the day, you got to pick yourself back up and you got to keep fighting. In the Fruit Belt with this week's City Shaper, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Kelly. And to follow the fate of these buildings in the Fruit Belt, just go to this story on our website and free app. And if you know a Western New York woman who would make a great city shaper, all you have to do is send Kelly an email.